Hey, so today I'm starting a new game called Graveyard Keeper. Um, I've seen some gameplay of this, um, not a lot, and I've never actually played it myself. I just downloaded it today, so yeah. Um, Sim style game. You are in charge of a graveyard. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, new game. Um, oh, and I got one of the DLC packs, too. Maybe it's the only DLC? I don't know. Where you can also run a tavern. <laughs> it's totally appropriate. Graveyard and tavern together. Okay, it is an ordinary day. Oh, shoot. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Oh god. What happened? Where is everything? Well... Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. D does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. Okay. <laughs> you should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Um, oh god. <laughs> okay, uh, can I do anything? Is this our new house? It's like our new medieval style. The hatch is closed for now. Uh, the hatch? <laughs> So we can cook stuff, and we can go down a hatch. Can we do anything with this bucket? No. Okay. Alright. So this is a nice, I don't know, medieval looking kind of village. Place for stones. Okay. Place for wood logs. Oh, what's this? Not right now. Okay. So I guess we'll be gathering supplies at some point. The garden. Property and forfeiture for commercial use. Contact the tavern owner. Hordrick. <laughs> okay. So is a graveyard commercial use? I assume it is in this game. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What is this? Oh, okay. It's like some kind of like hop at home or something. <laughs> it's just like a door on a hill. <laughs> oh, here's the graveyard. Can we... Okay, no, we can't go through the hole in the fence. Alright. Um, are the graves labeled? Ooh, what's this? Gravestone. So add... 0, 2 to the grave. Current condition 0%. Study not complete. Hmm. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Exhume. To exhume a body, you need to remove the grave's fence and gravestone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, is there a body in here? Oh my god. This... I don't know what... Mm, yeah, I don't know what these things mean yet. Oh. Okay. I guess... Okay, I'm going the wrong way. There is an arrow showing me which way to go. <laughs> but 
what is this place actually? Is this the tavern? No. The royal service box will start working once the church opens again. Okay, it's definitely, yeah, that's not a tavern, that is a church. I cannot tell the difference. <laughs> okay. Can I read the signs? No craft. Huh. Oh. Is this our new friend Jerry? Oh. We are digging Jerry up. I hope. I think. Holy sword on the skull. <laughs> are you Jerry? Mm, why would you think I'm Jerry? It's just a guess, man. Okay, a man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye. I remember. <laughs> I should have a Jerry voice, shouldn't I? Oh, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? Okay, the man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But for, first, let me ask you, who are you and where the Sard are we? Alright. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. Just, just follow the bouncing skull. Okay, he remembers that sound. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. I remember that bell and a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm, he could be dangerous. Oh good, okay. Well, we'll just check it out then. Oh. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. <laughs> Awkward. You can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? Okay. I am cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the uh, fellow who owns it. <laughs> and I only earn five carats a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? Hmm. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. Yes, what a strange land. Okay. Oh jeez. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. Oh, it's wrong. Uh, what for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. And might be profitable. <laughs> oh, I am going to puke. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's hoist up this rotting corpse. And I actually like, oh, I like this place, feels like home. Uh huh, put the body on the autopsy table. And, hmm, what's next? Oh, yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way! This isn't right! Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. What the... <laughs> First slice, you've unlocked a new technology and got uh, a blueprint for a preparation place, blueprint for a pallet, extra flesh. Alright, let's autopsy this. Okay, flesh. So, what do we do here? Extract flesh. Extract flesh. Oh, okay. Extracting. Extracting. Here we go. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have unlocked a new technology and got uh, create a burger, a sandwich, or baked meat. In the meat fiesta event. <laughs> That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not so bad, is it? Is it getting foggy yet? Like, we all we did was slice a little flesh, like... Whatever. No big deal. Let's bury it. Okay, so use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave and dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or what remains of it in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I was planning to do that. Anyways, but yeah, okay. So, um, blueprint table. So, what do we want to do? We want to build a gravesite. Then we can put it anywhere. Hmm. Wonder what happens when we run out of grave seeds. Okay, so and what are these little minus one? Eh. Okay, I guess let's put this guy by himself over here, and then what? I can oh oh jeez. Digging graves. Just gonna dig up a quick grave for our body to go into. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And tear the corpse. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, we probably need to cover him up. Right? Is this right? I'm covering him up, right? I'm not. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Why, thank you. Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it. A lot. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know. Something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue, waiting for my beer. Okay. Here's the bishop. Oh. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? <laughs> okay. So the bishop's whiny already. Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm, we've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. What? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Hmm, okay. So here's the locations tutorial. So current location name. Oh, graveyard quality and church appeal. So you can increase those. Okay, you can repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You probably need special resources to do that. All right, we have got a wooden marker. Great. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. <laughs> I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Uh huh. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... symbol. <laughs> Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? 
It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. <laughs> okay, I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Hmm, okay, great. Um, in case we can ask more questions. Alright, well... Let's say we were not the keeper, we were just going home from work. Hmm, a fine joke. Who is BB? Uh, yeah, don't know. I am, huh? Blessed and beautiful. <laughs> Um, okay, he's our boss, we better laugh. <laughs> that was not funny. <laughs> okay, so how can I fix the graveyard? So we just repair all the graves. Oh, the bishop says it wouldn't even take him an hour, but it's our job. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah, so the burial certificate. Oh, is part of an ancient contract between the town and the village. As soon as the body has been laid to rest, yeah, we trade for money. Okay, so what is the town? Our, the town is the heart of our glorious land, the palace, the cathedral, everything is there. You should see it for yourself. Hmm, <laughs> but in those clothes? That would be rather funny, huh? <laughs> Okay, so the town. The town is south of the tavern. Okay. And the village is east from the graveyard gate. Alrighty. Guess that's it for the bishop. Okay, so if we run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, we can craft new ones. Okay, so crafting new items. Hmm. So I earn points by doing anything. Okay. Okay, ooh. So this is... what was all this? Create a, I don't know what all these things are. Firewood, okay. Stonework. Woodwork and mining. Hmm. So it looks like there's going to be a bunch of things we can do. Culminating in creating a marble bust. Okay. Um, and then what's this? Oh, so this is our calendar up here. So the bishop is here on purple. <laughs> sure. Um, oh. Ooh, okay, is this the, our predecessor's trunk? Okay. Yeah, let's take everything from the trunk. Got some rusty tools. Okay. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> is this taking us to the village? The village is east. So is that where the tavern is going to be? I assume, because we have to trade in our burial certificate. Oh, wheat farm. Nice. This is... Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here we are in the village. Hmm. So what is... let's read the sign. Dead Horse Tavern. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. Seems like a... cozy place. Yeah, I was reading this question on Reddit. I think it was Reddit Ask Historians. Someone was like, every fantasy game has a tavern, but like, 
it's that accurate, like in the Middle Ages, where there are actually taverns everywhere? Don't know the answer. Okay. Our bad luck, not today. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, who do we talk to? I assume the person at the bar. Yeah, Horadric. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Horadric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up today and things have been crazy since then. It's like my day every day. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Mm -hmm. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? Uh, I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a long while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Okay. Uh, about this burial certificate. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Okay. So he's, yeah, he's saying he's broke. <laughs> so he can't pay us for the burials yet. Alrighty. Um, what's all this? Let's ask how we can get back home. Oh yes, our darling will be so worried about us. He just like shrugs. You're at the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it now? He just shrugs again. What do you mean? The time it takes for the earth to make one revolution around the sun? Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that the earth is flat. But I get you, it's 200 after the ancient contract and 210 after... Hmm, never mind. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom! And it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? Uh... Okay. Uh, I don't know what the garden is. I found an abandoned garden. Oh, so let's... Right outside our house, maybe? So we found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Oh, the garden. It was seized by the merchant to cover someone's debts. I can't find anybody who will make any use of it. Hmm, I can give you permission to use the garden? Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? Okay. Oh, so we can make a like garden plot? Okay. Sounds great. Good, but you still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you just promise to settle the details with him later. Sure, I'll talk to him. Okay, so we have to find this merchant. He comes every... What is this, like, orange? <laughs> he owns the barn just south of the tavern. Okay, um, town pass. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's complicated. The Inquisitor can grant a town pass, or you can just purchase citizenship. Let me think. Hmm, you know, there is one villager who could help you out. Ms. Charm. Maybe she can help you. Okay. Um, it's Ms. Charm. I wonder if that's this person. Uh, should we trade our corpse meat? Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Ugh. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Yeah, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat. But wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. 
So where can I get the stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every... Red. I bet she can help you to find Snake. Thanks. Okay. So, that's sketchy. <laughs> Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our blacksmith, Kreswold? Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Okay. Oh my god, so that meat stuff. Like... <laughs> so he's like... He will at least pretend to be concerned about where the meat comes from. But he's not really concerned, is he? <laughs> um, okay. I wonder where the south... going southeast, right? To that... um... blacksmith? This guy? Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvold. Okay, here's your letter. A letter, of course, one minute away and he can't be bothered to come himself. Oh, I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Mm, slimes again. Horadric has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Uh, take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind me. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovels sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains and I'll bring you some materials. They should be right up the other side of my house near the puddles. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay, so fighting slimes will reduce our energy, I guess. Um, we can get food and potions or sleep. Okay. Mm, Alright. So let us sharpen our sword. Oh, is this not... Is this what we need? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Okay, sharpening our sword, sharpening our sword. Sweet. Okay, so now we need to find those things. Slimes. Monsters. Is that they're on? Oh, I see it. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know how to fight it though. Oh god. Oh no! Um... Do I need to like equip the sword? Oh no. Uh oh. I feel like I missed a key lesson somewhere along the way. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no, it's it's oh, it's gonna kill me. Uh, how do I equip my sword? <laughs> mm -mm. This is not good. Yeah, uh, let's talk to the blacksmith again. I need to sharpen an old sword. But I did that right. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, here we go. Um. Can I. Okay, so it's equipped. I just don't know how to use it. 
Um, okay. Oh, it's like a thunderstorm right now. Mm. Okay, oh god, they're still coming. I think... You know what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just need to <laughs> look up how to fight with my supposedly equipped sword. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this is an interesting game so far. <laughs> it's kind of like just the right amount of like creepy and morbid so far. Without, yeah, but it's, it, it's not like gory. Yeah, so um, let's leave this part right here. Um, I'll figure out what I'm doing <laughs> and we'll come back in the next part and kill the slimes. Okay, thanks for watching.